Hi, I'm Erin, and I'm going to talk about the strengths and weaknesses of the index and the case about Phoebe. I thought the index was very comprehensive. It really went over everything, and it went into detail. It asked a lot of questions. It defined things. Um, I think it's really important that things are well-defined and you know specifically what factors make up abuse, neglect. I would say that the strengths is definitely the comprehensiveness and the definitions and specificity of everything. The weakness, I would say, is if I was an investigator, I would just find it so overwhelming to use that in my daily life because I would just never remember it all. I'm sure you become more familiar, but I think it would be difficult. It definitely serves its purpose. It's just pretty... The weakness is that it's overwhelming, and also that it neglected to help Phoebe, which is devastating for the story and the family. I thought that uh, Phoebe's story was very interesting, that there were just so many reports made, and so many concerned people surrounding that family and that she still managed to slip through the cracks because you do hear stories of kids that are abused and neglected that no one does anything about it. People sort of ignore it. You know, kids show up to school and they clearly were mistreated and things aren't going well at home and nothing happens for them. And so this story, with so many reports being made, you would think that something changed some. One thing that surprised me was when the December 29th, 2014 call was screened out um, because there was no address. I think, one, that it's like silly that she didn't get the address in the first place, but then to not return the call, either to get an address or to say that this call was screened out, was a major issue. It should have been followed up on, and I almost understand how it fell through the cracks because it's one of those things where as a call center you're going through a lot of stuff, you're sifting through a lot of calls, and when that one call doesn't work out you're just like okay whatever it'll be fine. I get it but at the same time that shouldn't have happened. Uh, there, there were two ways in which this hotline worker needed to follow up with the caller and she ignored both. So that's definitely a big problem. And then the other one is really the lack of services, as stressed in the reading. Um, it discussed a number of services that the county does work with and all of the options there are. And definitely at least one should have been provided to this family in order to ensure that what the family needs are met. And definitely mental health services were needed. And then third, there's probably just the fact that they didn't follow up with the new family situation. They seem to never look into John Jr.'s care other than the fact that he wasn't Michelle. Other than that, they were like, okay, you can go take care of her. And it just seems like his criminal record was ignored and they just were like, domestic violence doesn't equal child abuse, so it's fine and it obviously wasn't fine. Um, so the lack of services and the lack of follow-up was a major issue and obviously changes are being made to improve this and to prevent deaths and um, policies are always changing for the child welfare system which is great. So hopefully we will see less and less cases like this.